Hello everyone, Taylor Johnson here. I wanted to give you a look at the May statistics for the DC regional housing market. Um, as you can see, uh, the prices uh, are at a new high and they are nearly 40% above where they were in 2019. Inventory of uh, homes is increasing and uh, new contracts are down. Um, and you could expect the pace of the increase of uh, both prices and uh, inventory to slow. And uh, you can expect that homes will take longer to sell. Um, so if you're on the listing side, that's important to know. Uh, if you're on the buy side, it's also important because it gives you a little more, potentially a little more time to think about things uh, and uh as we will see later, depending on which specific market you're looking in, that could actually play to your advantage quite a bit. Um, there are 32% more homes in active inventory uh, than there were before. Uh, but as we will see, we're still at a shortage. And um, the half of the homes on the market have sold in six days or less, which is a significant thing to think about. So things are going pretty quickly. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, most of what I've just said is in these paragraphs. Uh, home prices tie records. Um, prices continue to rise. And uh, while supply is increasing, more buyers are being kept out of the market by both high prices and uh, mortgage rates at around 7%. Now, historically, you should understand that 6 to 7% is normal for mortgage rates. Um, it's just really the, as I said, prices are 40% uh, more than they were in 2019. And that's really where uh, you're seeing um, the hit on people. Um, so half the homes sold. Take a look here at... Um, new pending sales, you can see that uh, they're down, but we're also kind of following a, um, a seasonal trend. This is fairly normal. Um, new listings, you can see, are also, this gray area is what we were 2019 to 2022. So you can see that new listings are below what they were then. Uh, it's also important to understand that these two years, uh, three years, were really abnormal in the real estate market. So um, maybe we're tracking more uh, where we should be. Um, and active listings, as you can see here, are up. But also compared to where we were in 2019, we're still at quite a shortage. We're uh, you know, 5,000 uh, fewer than we were in 2019 at the peak. So um, that's a tremendous thing to think about. And even 2019 uh, is much shorter than it was, say, in uh, 2012. So um, this is the biggest issue for buyers and for sellers, that there's a lack of inventory. Um, if you're thinking about changing the size of your home, uh, selling, uh, you know, upsizing or downsizing, um, there's not a lot to choose from. So it's hard to be a seller. And the fact that it's hard to be a seller then means that it's hard for the buyers because people are not selling or they're slow and reluctant to sell. Uh, let's take a look at specific markets. We can see here median days on market. This is a significant number to think about. Uh, for all markets, it's low. And in DC is probably the highest. As we will see, the, the District of Columbia is really where it's at right now in terms of bargains and well, relative affordability and ability to negotiate. Um, if you're buying in, say, Fairfax County, uh, or any of these other places, you know, uh, you're you're really in a difficult uh, position. You can also see that median sales price uh, in all districts went up except Alexandria City. Um, and 
let's take a look at new listings. Where are we? New listings uh, are also, it's a mixed bag, whether they are up or down. Uh, the general trend is up a little bit, but look here at showings. Showings are down. So um, there are fewer buyers out there right now, which is great if you're a buyer and you're able to be in the market. That means that you have uh, less competition and uh, less likely that you're going to face a competitive offer. Or if you do, it's going to be one or two other offers, not 10 or 12. If you're a seller, this is important to know that um, it just means that there are fewer buyers out there. It's going to be harder to sell your home. Presentation of your home and pricing of your home are going to be very, very important for uh, the sale. Um, and down here, we can see that active listings uh, uh, also are up. So what this basically means is, okay, the number of new listings is relatively low. The number of sales contracts is relatively low. And so every month there's a few listings that don't get sold and carry over to the next month. And that continues to build active inventory. So this is what's happening here. This is why the active inventory is increasing. Now the months of supply is like a, what we call an absorption rate. Think about um, <laughs> if you were to stop all new homes coming on the market, how long would it take to sell the homes currently on the market? Um, and so in um, Alexandria, you would absorb all the current homes for sale in just over a month. Falls Church City, which is an abnormal market with only 10 listings anyhow, would be just under a month. But look at where D.C. is. D.C. is at four and a half. So in comparison to all the areas around D.C., these are very, very, very tight markets. These are definitely seller's markets. It's, it is going to take longer to sell for these sellers, but it's also um, harder for you as a buyer to negotiate. Here in the city, um, it's just taking longer and there are more opportunities to negotiate. Uh, we could potentially get you a seller credit to help you with closing. Uh, we could potentially um, negotiate the seller to pay a year's worth of condo fees or something like that. There, there are lots of different ways to make it a little more easier for you um, to buy the house. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be lowering of the price. There are other options that we can do uh, depending on what your needs are. So uh, my name again is Taylor Johnson. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Capital Properties, part of the Eng Garcia team, and I'm here to be a resource for you. Uh, if, there, if you have any questions, you would like to be connected to lenders, um, you want some uh, things to read, you need help fixing your credit or knowing what to do to prepare to buy your house in six months or a year, please reach out to me. I'm here to be a resource and help you know what to do and understand the market. Uh, my contact information is down below. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. It helps other folks like you to uh, find it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.